bring some flowers into the house. It's going to be here yet. Tomorrow you'll come with me and we'll walk the farm together. Massachusetts is beautiful in the spring. I don't I think you're sad again, are you? You come so late. I thought you'd gone to sail this afternoon. Why, I have no business in sail. You did speak about it. I thought better about sense. No, I wanted to go today. Why should I let her go? You hardly forbid her from going to sail anymore. I couldn't stop her. I forbid her from going, and she rose to the chin at me like the daughter of a prince, and says to me, I must go to Goody Proctor. I'm official with court. What court? I had to pop court there and there now. We got four judges out of Boston, waiting magistrates at the general court. Oh, she's mad. And would to God she were. They got 14 people in jail now, she says. And they'll be tried. And the court of the power to hang them too. They never hang. The deputy governor promises to hang them if they're not the first job. She speaks to Abigail, and I thought she was a saint to hear her. Abigail brings the girls to the front of the court, and the folks are brought before them. And if they scream and howl and fall to the floor, the person is clapped in jail for butchering them. What is the black question? I think you ought to go to Salem, John. I think so. Miss Tom was abroad. She said I'd not to do a witchcraft to cheer. Oh, she did, she did. God forbid you keep that from the court, John. I think you must be told. No, you must, you must. You ought to go to Salem now, John. Off the court. You cannot keep it, John. <coughs> Your justice would freeze me up. 